Another perfect day. I 
kids to behave. I got so many, I, I don't know what to do. How do you get so many kids? Well, what can I say? Thought has a crush on me. <laughs> No, but I was very emotional yesterday. I need to find another group, quick. It's a very heavy emergency. Hold on, sister. Who are you? I'm looking for a sheep, and I've lost my sheep, and I don't know where to find them. Well, relax. Your sheep are always missing. Don't you ever, ever make fun of my sheep. Oh, sorry. I forgot how sensitive sheep were to criticism. <laughs> well, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to another sheep. Well, she's not here. She's at home. She is not? Is so. Is not? Yes, she is. I just left her there. Well, I just left her there, and she's not there, so where is she? I don't know. I'm not my mother's keeper. Well, her pet sheep Conker was there, but she wasn't. She never goes anywhere without her. Hmm. You better check it out. Fine. Chairs in the wrong spot. So? Oh, better. What's the difference? Well, that chair hasn't moved from that spot since I've been a little kid. How do you know? Because I'm her son, that's how. Oh, I get it. You're a garden. Well, this could be a very serious situation. Why, because you're a garden? No, I mean because of my mother. She wouldn't leave without Honker. Mm. I feel foul play. Right? <laughs> you get it? Mother Goose, foul play? Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> you know, me and the sheep, we're always yucking it up. The other day, I played the sheep. The sheep ate into a box. Look, well, you're getting us nowhere. Nowhere's not such a bad place. I've been there. Yeah, why does that not surprise me? <laughs> you probably live there. I didn't know. Look, my mother is somewhere. I think we should find out where that is. All right. Maybe she's with my sheep. Maybe she's with my sheep. Oh, well, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Hey. You know, you have the stupidest little voice. I didn't say anything. Well, then who did? Coming from over here. Everything. I've lost my sheep. Do you know where they are? That's a 
forget about her sheep. You know where my mother is, Mother Goose? Your mama? <laughs> yeah, I know where your mama is. Oh, don't do it. What are you doing? <laughs> what happened to my mother? Oh, yeah, your mama. Well, <laughs> as I was climbing up the waterfall, and I got the head of Mrs. Goose, uh, you know something, Pete? Mrs. Goose got the head of Mrs. Goose up here. I mean, how wonderful, too. <laughs> dry up all the rain. She'll be back. Yo, Lissy, dry. You climbing up there, pal? You need any more info about the great big huge, uh... He's not climbing. Lissy, where are you? I know. He's probably going to stay with the Peters at Little Miss Mutt. What about this man? I want to see some of the stuff first. We don't have time. I was going to find the neatness. This is an emergency. Wait, 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 no, they're all coming. Oh, I'm going to have to go. It's not just me. Apparently, for some reason, the dragon has to be the dragon. Oh, what's that? Lucky to be alive? I've been on Mr. Toad's wild ride. Which is what? Which way are we going? Look. Well, maybe we should ask somebody for directions. Who could we possibly ask down here in the middle of nowhere? There's someone right there. The wackos can spot from our shadow. Well, they got their gifts hidden under the pillow. What? You know, the bridges are those where the candles are placed. Looks like dropouts and fog are common soon. I'm not riding another foot unless I'm driving. Forget it. Nobody can ride my pole. I got one more. You can drive. Telling me. One time I took her to the driver, the lamb sat between us. Talk about. 
about getting clear. Someone at the door. Can I read the landlord book for the rent? Get the door, Mary. Not in the mood for company. I am. Now get the door, Mary. What are you doing? You remember everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. I'm going. Mary, is that you? Who wants to know? It's me, little Bo Peep. I'm Riley's girl, and you remember how you do? Come on in, make yourself comfortable. Mother said that. Tough break, Pop. You know, when I was a kid, my father ran off with the goat. Shut up, Mary. Sure. So, Mary, I see you've still got your cute little, uh, lamb. Yeah, he's still here. And you guys haven't changed a bit. You sure have. Talk about a nosedive into an empty pool. <laughs> I meant that as a compliment. Listen, Mary. We're still fly, hoping you'd help us find another goose. So? He lost his mother. You lost your sheep. Big deal. You think you got problems? I'd like to lose him. My life's in a shambles, all because of Lou. Sure, he used to be a cute little lamb, and it was fun having him follow me everywhere I went. Until he turned into a gigantic, obnoxious mess of sheep. Give it a rest, man. Can I get you folks some refreshments, coffee, tea, after we eat? I would. Two wonderful husbands. All because of Lou's insistence on following me everywhere. You know what I mean. So I spread the synthetic crime. Speaking of friendly sheep, how are those two little sheep of yours? Still lost, Bucky. Uh, Lou, can you get your mind out of the meadow? I'm talking to you. Anyway, the larger the kazoom. <laughs> this little lamb is ruining my life. Fine. You think it's a picnic following you around? Nah. If you don't like it, there's the door. Don't worry about me, I'll survive. Because wherever you go, I'll be sure to follow. Ah, I think we have to call now. Bless you, Miss. Oh, great. That's what I need, a parking stick. Yeah. Wait, it's a note. Who says I've got cute little tots like you with a cute little worm? No, it's a ransom note. You mean the tots kidnap Mother Goose? Why, if you ever want to see your mother again, then bring about 400, no, make that 650 Rhineland dollars and two chili dogs with a pickled pepper pack. Put under salt, pepper, on seven fine. Don't try anything funny because I won't laugh. Leave part perpendicular. That's not perpendicular. Well, it depends on which way you look at it. Where's Piper? Peter? Peter? Uh, give me the chili dogs. Wait here. Oh. Thank you. Don't worry about me. I can handle it. 
handle any of them. Seven times seven. Four times. Four times seven. Oh. Are you Peter Piper? Precisely, I am Peter Piper, proud proprietor of this profitable pickle pepper cat. You know, I'm going to... Well, the ran that creature, Gordon. Where's my mother? Then why did you kidnap her? Kidnap? Quit kidding. Could you clarify the query? Well, somebody wrote this ransom note. It says to bring money and chili dogs here if I want to get my mother back. Pshaw, that's probably a pathetic prank perpetrated by some puny person out to cuckoo Peter Piper. What do you mean? People pick on me persistently. It's a pity, perhaps, but part of playing the piper. You mean someone else kidnapped Mother Goose and blamed on me? Precisely. My rhyme, Peter Piper, Pickle Pepper, Pickle Peppers, is particularly puzzling. People can't pronounce it properly, so they presume that I'm peculiar, and they purposely persecute poor Peter Piper, and so I'm practically prepared to puke. You didn't write this note. Who did? Take a look. Leaping lizards, this letter is almost illegible. The only crook who could crack such a crude communique is that old crackpot, the crooked man. Who wrote the crooked man? Correct. He's a crazy creep, Pete. Completely crackers. Comprende? Comprende. Yeah. I'm completely confused by this conversation. Should we climb into the car and cut out? Can do. The judge picked the crooked man has inspired this car up with his crafty calligraphy. Do you two always talk in this asinine alliteration? You guys gonna pick up some pickled peppers or what? Oh, we can pickle these two. We didn't even pay the piper to tell us how to find a crooked man. How else? You follow Crooked Mile Drive. You might say that, yeah. <laughs> well, why didn't you knock? I mean, I've been here all day, just running around the house. Did you write this ransom note? Well, uh, it looks like my handwriting. Yeah, well, then you kidnapped Mother Goose, so give her back. Yeah, huh? right now. Hey, 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 hey. I didn't kidnap anybody. I admit, I'm a crooked man. I'm not a crooked one, but I ain't no kidnapper. Well, look, you stay right here. Hey, read this, please. If you ever want to see your mother again... <laughs> I never said I had her. I just said, if you ever want to see your mother again... Now, if you know your own ears... So, uh, hey, by the way, you got the cash? Well, yeah. Wait a minute. No mother goose, no money. And no chili dog. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Well, 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 I got your mother, but... Uh, how about a good deal on the London Bridge? What about the dog here? The dog here? The dog down the street? Pete, we're driving around in circles. Wait, where did this rain start? What? I came we've already been here. Then let's kidnap somebody. Oh, sure, as if those three dudes in the tub are going to come floating by again. Gordon, step on it! Hey, fellas! We're still looking for little Miss Puffin's puppet. Come on in. Uh, I, I, I 
think it might be a little crowded, uh, not to mention Chinatown will be dangerous. The problem is you have to think to shrink. Think harder, think to shrink. Enough people see this is enough. <laughs> Please, please pull up a carpet and sit down. Oh, thank you. What exactly is a carpet? It's a sitting mat. Are you hungry? Uh, no time for food. Nonsense. There's always time for food there. This basket is especially warm. I just heated up some ink tray in the microwave. One heat for peace.
very sorry to interrupt your merrymaking, but we have something very important to discuss with you. My mother's missing. Serious. Serious? Serious? Uh, saying the word serious is the most terrible crime that can be committed in my presence. I will not tolerate it. To the dungeon with you, where we will drill the meat and the merriment into you until you scream with laughter. Claim does happen. Now it's party time! Oh, wait, 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 w
I know he's a scientist, and I'm sure this world is fun. But what good is it to keep him in the dungeon? Come on, Pete. Cheer up. We're not trying to cook his goose. We're just trying to make him loose. He's just worried about Mother Goose. And I am, too. We think she's somewhere in outer space, but we don't know how to find her. Be nervous. Don't worry. Be nervous. She's not in outer space. She's someplace right here in my mind. How do you know? Because Mother Goose came to find her. And if she ever left my mind, we would all disappear. But since nobody's disappeared, there is nothing to worry about. is no longer in Rhineland. She's left for the outside world. You've got to find her before we all disappear. And as king, I will do everything in my power to help. Then you've got to release Gordon. Done. Great. Since I don't know how to get to the outside world, may I suggest that you question my royal high wall man, Humpty Dumpty. He's an egghead. He knows everything. Hey, you're a star. Oh, in the town, baby. <laughs> hey, look, you see know, that dungeon? The old way for Doc and Jake. But what about Doc Jake? Speaking of dungeons, what about the brewery? Oh, <laughs> you're not just about the brew. Let me know. Look, be good. Oh, oh dear. Help! We need all the King's 
Rogers and all the team's men to come and put us together again. Whoa, Big Tom. Oh, I met you again. Who are you? Who do you think? You are all the team choices and all the team's men. See, the man implies plural, you know, more than one. Hey, but you cut the staring back. So it's actually one change horse and one change man that come to put Humpty Dumpty together again. Yes, yes, sir. Huh? So, put him together again. <laughs> no can do. Why not? Because we forgot the clue. Oh, Humpty. Looks like he's gone off the wall and into the frying pan. But we just have to know. How do you get out of space? Rockets. No. Oh, that's uh, Carnegie Hall. Those ones. Those ones. No. Nope. That's Citizen Kane. <laughs> Just yoking. Oh. oh. Have you expired? No. Besides, it's about time he came out of his shell. Just a yoke. <laughs> Get it?
And now what do we do? I don't know. What I've had is this out-of-state business. I mean, I just don't believe my mother was kidnapped by aliens with big hands. But if she was, and if she never lied... I'm not saying he lied, but he did see Bixby. Everything looks huge to him. And I think it's about time we go to the police. Thank you. 
nothing left to do. You know, like God, your eye, a little screw, it's nothing to do but cut the screw. And talk about passion, particularly. Excuse me, I'm suddenly a redheaded friend. She was blonde, handsome, you know that. She could lower her sweet voice, that could curl her whiskers on mighty mouth she could talk. Uh, no, she just laughed. Yeah, tell us another one, babe. Uh, no, the babe laughed. I'm a serious Gordon Lee. Dude, babe, everyone's decent in our eyes. Yeah, but you know what? What happened to the color? Why are we uh, suddenly in black and white? We're color blind. Well, yeah, but I'm not. Not if you're off it. Babe, dude. What's up, Tiger? Well, I was thinking of hiring you to find a missing somebody. Okay, we're listening. Well, it's my mom. Hold on. Wait on. Is your mother the farmer's wife? Carved in knife? Have you ever seen such a sight in your life? At me, my mate. Bruce, Mother Bruce, Mother Bruce. 
I think I saw her face in a cloud today. Uh huh. And was that cloud inside of your head or outside? Ooh, I'm sorry. That's a tough one. Uh, I really, I'm really cloudy on that issue.
kind of jumps over the moon? Hey, have you seen Donald? Do you see him? Oh, 
think not the world, but saying joy, I know it could be you. Am I going to get punished for this? Of course not, dear. Even someone who knows you wouldn't hurt you. <laughs> okay, let me put you back before it's too late. And now that you're back, I learned that all the vitamins will get back to normal. Normal? There's nothing normal about them. Darling, there's nothing wrong with being different. Why, it would make life interesting if we were all alike. Life would be very, very boring. Well, maybe, but I'm not one of them. Yes, dear. I wish you were one of us. Boy, what, what the time has come to tell you something important. I knew it. I'm a doctor, right? No, you are. Thanks, sir. Good. What do you mean? I mean, I made you up. I created you. You mean I'm a Riley? You are the first Riley. Boy, you're looking pretty old. <laughs> Why didn't you ever tell me? Uh, you were my first creation. Your Riley wasn't any good. I was so embarrassed. I didn't want people to read it, so I just told everybody that you were my real son. Can you think of anything that rhymes with Gordon? Jordan? Jordan? No, no. Mom, couldn't you just have named me Bill? I don't think anyone should ever read this. Sorry, George. The rhyme didn't work very well, but you turned out just right. Because I'm not. What do I do now? I don't feel normal. I don't feel like a rhyme. I'm confused. Where do I belong? You belong here in the rhyme land. Yeah. Well, maybe you're right. I'm beginning to feel a little strange already. That's good. Maybe we should uh, look for those sheep. Together, I'm sure we could find them. Of course, it may take a long, long time.